Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we're playing as the Commonwealth here in the Open River Salus. For 1729, we have less than 100 years to go. We made a whole lot of progress, and we're about to annex five more vassals. Hooray! It's going to put um, pretty much a stranglehold on the rest of Europe. Hmm. We just started Switzerland. Uh, Aragon's going to finish in four years. Next up will be Senor Pope Man, I believe. March 14th. March 12th. Ah, whatever. Same thing. Two years, three years from now. March, start annexing them. And we're in a regency, so we can't actually go to war. Oh no, we lost a claim on something. I'm already coring it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> already coring it. Uh, we're still one year ahead, so we'll wait until we're ready for that tech. I like being, you know, right up there with the Western guys, even though we're in the Eastern tech group. I wonder what the hell Western land is using all their tech points on, if they have 20... They literally, the entire game, everyone in the West has had 20% more tech points than I have. The entire game long, and yet here we are, we're constantly ahead in tech. We are 16 years ahead in admin tech, to give you an idea of how far ahead we are. And the West, I don't know what they're doing with all their points. Who knows? We're finishing up a few more ships. And then we'll group all them up and see what we want to do with them. Hopefully Corsica will go get some claims. But they haven't yet. They're being lazy little Corsica. Fl uh, Ferrara also has not taken any cores for whatever reason. Can't declare war on Milan, unfortunately, or else... So silly. Being in a regency is just like one of the worst things ever. Because you're just sitting there with your hands tied behind your back. You can't do anything, you know? Alright, can we tech up now? No, it's going to be next... No, no. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. Pause the damn game. Okay. Tech up. Go. Nice. Green coat infantry. Alright. Wow, look at that. Six fire, six shock, and eight morale. Nice. Wow, we're, we're over our limit by 80. And it doesn't matter. We're still making 100 ducats a month. <laughs> uh, yeah, convert all the things. It doesn't fucking matter. We're way over our limit. No one cares. Nobody cares. Keep building those ships, boys. More conversions, very good. About two years per province, it's not that bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. We don't have a missionary. We don't have an um, inquisitor, they're called. Well, I can check and see if there's one available. Oh, there is, but he's a level two. Mm, nah, I'll keep the level three. Because we're going for ideas right now. So we might as well have the level three guy while we're banging through these. Ding ding. Nice. Wonder what we want for our last group. Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter. One second. One second. One second. There. We lost a claim. Oh no, we're already coring it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you lost a claim. And it says there was revolt in, in Vlanderen. But um, I'm looking at Vlanderen and there is no fucking revolt. You're a liar, game. You're a liar. Bring me a small liar. I didn't do it. You can't prove anything. Check my alibi. Not that kind of liar. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys know what that reference is from. So as soon as we get our king back, I'm just imagining all the things we can do once we have a king again. We can declare war on Friesland, turn them into a kingdom, and vassalize them and annex them. 
Um, I guess Utrecht, we can do them peacefully. Hmm. Oh, we got a new cardinal. Big surprise! Commonwealth gets a cardinal. No one would have expected that, ever. Nobody ever expects the Commonwealth to get a cardinal. Surprise of the century! His Holiness is shocked. Man, these happen a lot. Tuscany is allied with Ferrara. Damn it, that means Ferrara won't make any fucking claims. Damn you, Snively. Alright, two more ships to build, and then we're good to go. Damn it, Corsica too. That means Corsica and France. Really? He got he even got his alliance back with France. That means Corsica is not gonna make any claims on them. Ferrara's not gonna make nobody's gonna make any goddamn claims. Fucking hell doesn't fuck. Useless. You all are useless. How many base tax do you have? Twelve. 21, 28, 33, 40, 40, he has 48 base tax. Come on. Come on. He doesn't need 48 base tax. He just doesn't. I know. I know he doesn't need that much base tax. Um, whatever. Forty-eight base tax. Another province converted away. We're just constantly having provinces convert away from Catholicism. It's a little weird. Alright, all the ships are done. So let's group them all up. The pirates came back. Lol. And everyone go to Humber. Are we even increasing this colony? Yeah, it's slower than dirt. Actually, I'm not convinced it's even increasing. You know what? Fuck it. Just abandon that thing. Whatever. Let Portugal have that shit. I don't care. It's just a colony. Goodness. More rebels. Because we know that's what we need. More rebels. Stability. We have stability, but that doesn't mean we don't have rebel. We love rebel. Remove Baden from the map. <laughs> Much as I would love to, I don't have a king. And without a king, I can't do anything about removing Baden from the map. Thank you for your suggestion. Signed, get the fuck out of my office. Alright, so when? March of next year, I think. March of next year. Alright. Hurry up, damn it. Another province... Con what is with all these provinces converting away? It's constant. And it's saying because we're tolerant. Yeah, we're tolerant, but we're way more tolerant of Catholicism. I'm very surprised. Maybe if we take... Uh, well, there's nothing here. I mean, there's some things here for... Uh, Lowering tolerance and increasing missionary strength. I mean, maybe. Well, this makes tolerance even worse. That would make them flip even more, probably. God damn it. So many provinces are flipping away. I mean, it doesn't matter that much, but it's annoying. You're being annoying! How dare you be annoying? France is, of course, losing to Malwa, because France has no idea how to get to India. He declared on Hindustan a long time ago, and he never actually went to India to get Hindustan. Madurai seems to have a next Golconda. I almost care. <laughs> I had plans for India, but I just don't care about India anymore. I just don't care. I am still sort of thinking about Japan, but... Mm, 
He's got noble rebels and reactionaries. Those are the ones that can actually um, turn around westernization progress. But oh yeah, how are you doing over here? Oh wow, yeah, he's got claims on everything. We should go vassalize you. Well, we'll do it after we get a king. Because guess what? We can't declare war without a fucking king. Oh, Spain's at war with Britain. What is this over? The Spanish-British Colonial War. Attacking Britain. Okay. Go, someone. I don't really care who. Are you guys seriously not moving? Pretty sure I told all of you to go to Hamburg, and you're just chilling like it ain't no thing. I said go to Hamburg, damn it. I won't take no for an answer. You're all coming from the White Sea. How did the pirates not die? I th maybe they did die, and maybe they're back. They're like zombie pirates. Zombie pirates, oh my god. Revolutionary war against the Palatinate. Whoa, the Palatinate has flipped to a republic? Really? It means we lost our marriage. Oh, we can get it right back. Hmm, cute. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Uh, still can't annex any of these guys because the penalty annex vassal, negative 174. Ow. Negative 174. Ow. That's a ridiculous penalty. Portugal actually took a province from Hindustan. Good for you, Portugal. You're okay in my book. Beside the fact that you're a conniving colony stealer and I hate your guts. Other than that, it's all good in the hood, gee. Oh, look at that. 50, 50, 50, 39. What a disappointing number. Oh, there's 20 more. Oh. Oh, wow, I do need more transport ships. Really? Who the hell has 29 transports? What in the hell kind of nation has 20 sports? What kind of image are we telling people? Oh, I got 29 or 39 trans... I guess it doesn't matter that much. Just a very odd number for transports. Anyway, uh, we're going to take out the trade ships. And the trade ships are going to go patrol uh, Genoa, probably, right? Yeah, go to Genoa. And the other ships are going to go pick up you, because you're trapped in Malta. Yeah, we have a, a fleet now. 50 heavy ships. And to me, that's a strong fleet, especially since they're all three-deckers. These are the largest, strongest ships in the game. And we're combining them with galleys, the archipelago frigates, the best galley in the game. So they're going to be a very potent force for either in the Mediterranean or even out of the Mediterranean. And we're still making a lot of ducats. So, yeah. Go, Navy, go. See if we can't get in some epic naval battles at some point. Gain 27,000 manpower. Don't mind if I do. The nation of Huron has become westernized. Good job, Huron. I always knew you could do it. Hmm. Even with 300 ships, we just don't have a whole lot of strength on this node. Why is that? Overextension. Oh, but guess what's going away in just a few months? Probably one year, right? Yeah, September of next year, all of our overextension will be gone. So then this should balloon up probably about twice its current size. All right. We'll watch. We will watch, damn it. Ah, we can talk sense to people. Well, Hesse is pretty good. Mmm, Anjbach, we can't really do much there. We just can't do anything with these guys. We just, we've annexed too many vassals. Can't do shit. Can't do shit. I can send them a gift, but it won't matter. We gotta get to 165 for the gift to even matter. Can't give them access. Can't do shit. And France has never vassalized Cornwall for some fucking reason. What the hell, Tyrone? 
Britain has attacked Tyrone, except Britain, once again, is now spinning in a circle because they don't know what a transport ship is. So Tyrone is going to conquer all of Ireland. Go Tyrone, it's your birthday. Or maybe they will figure it out. Who the fuck knows? In any case, um, yeah, we'll, we'll wait on Utrecht until these vassals have annexed. All right, our navy has arrived. You know what? I'm gonna call this a name for this shit. Uh, oh, that's the army name. I don't care about the army name. First fleet. No, we're gonna call this Death Squad. Perfect. Good name for a fleet, the Death Squad. We might even give them an admiral at some point, but not today. Still no fucking claims. God damn it, no one's claiming any of this shit. I want you to claim this shit. Why is no one claiming this shit? Fuck. Fuck. I guess what we do is we go to war, we take half of them, and then we go to war again, vassalize them, and then sell it all back? I guess. But we need a, we need a diplomat for that to work. Diplomat? Diplomat Ricola. Diplomat Trier. Get relations up, but there's no way in hell we can annex them, unfortunately. Oh well, March 12th, we can start on Liège. Come on, March 12th. Come on, March 12th. Come on. Did I mention that being in a Regency sucks balls? Because it really does. I don't know how old my, my king is right now. But I don't care. He's too young. Now these cores are coming in. Alright. There goes Liege. Next up is Senor Pope Man. Y'all want to say goodbye to the Pope? Now would be a good time. There he goes. And lastly will be Hesse. But Hesse is going to wait until January 1733, which... Oh no, yeah, Aragon will actually not be done by then. I thought it would. Oh well. I thought you'd be done by then. That's what she said. She was wrong. The price is wrong. Natives not assisting. Oh no. Not the natives. Not the natives. We lost a claim on Languedoc. Oh no, we no longer have conquest on France. Who the hell cares? <laughs> Nobody cares. Yay. All right, conversion successful. Uh, yeah, give me the missionary guy. I'm sick of this. Our list of provinces to convert has actually been getting longer because we keep getting events where provinces flip to Protestant or Reformed or whatever. They keep flipping away from Catholic for whatever reason. So I'll go back to a missionary guy which will help uh, convert a little quicker. Bring the, the lambs back to the flock, right? More conversions, very good. And now that most of our overextension is gone, this should be a lot more strength on the trade node. Oh yeah, oh yeah, whoa. And it's gonna get even better when that last 16% goes away. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Hmm. We don't have the majority of the strength on the node. That's surprising, but we will. As soon as Aragon annexes, we're going to get their 21%. Then we will have majority of the node. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, look at Portugal getting feisty with that cardinal. Get the fuck out of here, Portugal. <laughs> what the hell is your problem? It's my guy. You can't have him. All right, there we go. 67%. Not bad. Pushing 14.7 ducats to Antwerpen. Uh, right, let me check. Yep, going straight to Antwerpen. I like that. That goes, goes straight up here through Antwerpen. And, uh, yeah, we're collecting 100. Oh my god, we're collecting 109 ducats in Antwerpen. That's awesome. 
That is not bad. It's not even a quarter of our income, but that's not bad for... Did we go trade ideas? We did not. We didn't even go trade ideas. And we're making 109 ducats from trade. That's not bad. Another 28,000 manpower. Thank you so much, game. I deserve this manpower so much. Uh, we could do some more buildings, I guess. Uh, let's see. Weapons. Weapons. I love me some weapons manufacturers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Look at those weapons. Oh, shit. Yeah. Weapons. Weapons. Fuck yeah. Mmm. I've actually built several of them already. But build more. Why stop now? Why ask why? Build weapons today. What else we got? Textile manufacturers. Fuck yeah. Oh, look at this, over here in China, and India, textiles of India, oh man, we're gonna bring all this shit back to Europe, everyone's gonna be like, whoa, motherfucker, where'd you get those textiles, that shit's so pimp, and I'll be like, I'll tell you, but you gotta keep it secret, ooh, even in our capital, textile manufacturing in the capital, farm estate, really, farm estate, no, I think we'll save on that one, uh, keep the rest in the pocket, I'm only wasting points where we have, you know, 26, because that's the tech where we're ahead. We're ahead by 14 years in that tech. Holy crap. All right, January is time for Hesse. So come on around, January. I'm ready. Uh, Britain and France are now at war. What happened? No, no, seriously. French conquest of Abenaki. Abenaki is... Oh, so France declared war on the Netherlands. No. Oh, Abenaki the nation. That's up here. Ah. <laughs> Abenaki the nation does not control Abenaki the province. That's owned by... Okay, so Abenaki the nation is a protectorate of Britain. So that is called in all of Britain's buddies. Interesting. Okay. Good for you, France. Enjoy war with Britain. I'm sure you'll... Have a blast. Tuscany has joined the war against Britain. Okay. Good for you. Alright, annex the vassal. Good. So we have five... We have six diplomats, and five of them are annexing vassals right now. That's fantastic. That's going to get rid of our relationships all the way down to four out of nine. <laughs> oh, we still can't declare war because we still don't have a king. It's only He's only six. We still have nine more years of no king. Oh. Just kill the kid. Shoot the kid. And then we'll get a de Valois. We can go claim France's throne. Everything will be better. Shoot the kid, please. Go on, shoot the kid. Another 28,000 manpower. Wow. <laughs> We're way over our manpower limit now. No, a cardinal died. Button mash that cardinal to victory. What the hell should my diplomats even be doing right now? Mm, yeah, let's go back and max out Corsica again. Why not? I really wish they would go get some claims on Tuscany, but they won't do it while they're allied. They're still allied to Tuscany, so they won't go get those claims. It's very disappointing. Look, he used to have three claims here. <sighs> Whatever, we'll probably just uh, peacefully vassalize and then just annex them and forget the claims. Uh, we need to go for... Ooh. We need to go for Utrecht. Peacefully. Um, yeah, they only have one ally, so that's fine. But that'll be after we annex everybody. Or else we run the risk of having them wind up just like one of our other dead-end... We have three dead-end vassals. There goes Aragon. Goodbye, Aragon. Bye! By the way, this is going to lower our legitimacy from 100 all the way down to 50. But it doesn't matter because we're in a Regency Council. 22 more units. Nah, just delete them. I'm sure we're way over our unit limit. Yeah, we're still way over, way over the unit limit. Uh, what the hell is this? An archipelago frigate. No, you belong in my navy, bro. Uh, more Chebecs? 
You know what? I'll keep the archipelago frigates, but that's it. No, I guess we'll keep the merchantmen too. Um, there you go, at least three. And the rest of you, delete. Uh, more ships. What are these? Heavy frigate. Um, patrol. Oh my god. Genoa. And more heavy frigates. Are they all heavy? Nope. There are some regular old frigates. I will save you regular frigates because you don't need to be in the navy. Go away. You guys patrol Genoa. That'll do. I think that's all of their navies. I think. <laughs> I don't know for sure, actually. And help get out of here. You have one province. Why would I want to be your ally? Do you want to be my vassal? He's like, can I be your vassal? Oh, the Pope still has Protestant zealots because he can't figure out how to keep his capital Catholic. <laughs> Poor Pope. I feel you, Pope. I feel you, bro. Brah. Uh, yeah, let's go up to Utrecht. Let's start. Kissy kissy. I guess we don't really even need to, huh? Nah, do it anyway. What else am I gonna do with my fucking diplomats? What else am I gonna do with my diplomats? Found a dispute on Bavaria. That's fine. Who the hell is black flagged exile mode? Oh god, it's gonna be some of... Aragon's unit, isn't it? Yeah. So Aragon had units over here. Oh, those are my units. Uh, come to Beijing. Where are Aragon's units? That's a damn good question. I don't. I didn't even look for Aragon's military. He had 22 guys in G Girona, which I deleted. That's probably all he had, really. Anywho, 77% on Switzerland. That'll be nice. Get rid of that ugly blob right there. Blob. Since we're... N well... Yeah, go ahead and get an alliance and guarantee them. Don't let Utrecht slip away. If that makes any sense. Ow. We'll take vassalization right now, but I kind of want to wait until we've annexed all these guys. We don't have that negative five million for annexing a previous vassal. It is kind of a pain in the butt to get rid of. Still have a regency. What a shame. Anywho, we need to end this episode here. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Aragon is no more. Spain, not hostile, not rival. They're just like France. They're keen to just sit back, relax, and feel threatened. I love the little picture of the chess pieces. That's a nice little thing. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.